people are like, who is Danielle Victor? And I'm like, bitch, it's Danny with two N's. Am I a fashion blogger? Maybe. Am I a storyteller? For sure. Am I a badass bitch? Absolutely. So if you're smart, you'll subscribe to my channel. Hey guys, so I actually got recommended or suggested that I do a vlog on the LA lockdown. That's my roommate laughing in the background, by the way. And so this is day one of the LA, what, it, what do they call it? Safe home order? Safer at home. What? Safer at home. Safer at home order. So basically we're stuck in our crib except for emergencies until April 19th. I went outside and people are not staying inside. Exactly, that's when martial law is gonna come in and we're gonna be forced to stay inside so those people are fucking us. Period. And Matt's one of them. Matt is not gonna be paying attention to this, oh, I know it. Chill. Chill. So Matt's working from home today. Excuse the kitchen table, oh my goodness. Well, it's just, you know, work stuff. Work stuff. And he has his little girl coming over. Do not put that in. Cutting that out. Although she'll probably be in the background of my video later, but it's fine. Um, so I went to, me and my roommate, my other roommate who's not home right now, Frankie, discussed groceries and for two weeks, cause this has already been going on for what, two weeks, Matt? Cause I've been home for two weeks. I've only left to go to the grocery store. So last week, me and my other roommate went grocery shopping and there was no meat. And I mean no meat, no chicken, no chicken thighs, no steak, nothing. It was like bottom of the barrel, like shit that people don't buy was left. So I called Trader Joe's last night and they are closing early, but they open at nine. So I woke up at 7.15 this morning, brushed my teeth, threw on some sweats, got in an Uber, cause my car is in the shop. It was supposed to be done this week, but he was like, it's not gonna be done till next week now. And I'm rambling, I'm sorry. But I go and I'm thinking I'm gonna be like the first or second person in line, because I got there at like 8.15, there's like 35 people in front of me. So I stand next to this dude in line, I was just being friendly, I was like, hi, how are you, good morning. And he like did this jump back thing, and then screamed, like I mean screamed, you're supposed to be six feet away from me! And he was dead ass, like dead serious. I like looked around, the whole line was staring, it was embarrassing, but y'all need to calm down. The number one thing that people should be practicing right now is kindness, and he wasn't kind. And then he started doing like these serial killer exercises in front of me, like kicking his legs, squatting. I'm like, are you prepping to go Trader Joe's shopping? I'm just, I'm so confused. And then it took a half an hour for an Uber to pick me up because they could not find where I was located at. And then I got home and I'm about to kind of clean up the kitchen, do my makeup, film a shopping haul, and then I guess I'll just be checking in from time to time to let you know how crazy I'm going. Not getting, going. And then Matt's just over there being quiet, but at some point, he'll probably be on here too. Right? All right. <clears throat> Bye guys, talk to you soon. Like literally, I'll talk to you in like half an hour, 20 minutes. Sounds good, okay, bye. Hi guys, update. My makeup is almost done. My, I forgot lashes, so nobody judge me right now. Although, I will say, in this lighting, the makeup looks pretty good with no lashes on. But a bitch always looks better with lashes on. Me and Frankie are drinking mimosas because it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. There's nothing else to do. We drove by Ralph's, and the line was longer than Trader Joe's. So we didn't do that tonight. We're going to do it again in the morning. Matt is still working from home. I'm very mute. I'm quiet. Concentrated. Over there. He has his headphones on. Oh, he has his, I was like, okay, he's not even responding, so it's not you guys, it's him. But yeah, I told you I'd be back in 30 minutes, so I'll talk to you guys again in 30 minutes. Bye. I know I started this by saying this was day one, it was the 19th, but as you would know, it's the 20th, and I don't even know what day it is. It is Friday. We do knew that. We do knew that. We do know that. Um, me and Frankie did an ab workout. I gave up kind of towards the end. Around the last ab workout I gave up. But we're gonna try to ha figure out how we can like work out in the crib. Um, but, but not just ab crunches, cause I just don't see how ab crunches is gonna make me feel good about myself. 
30 days from now. Not when I'm eating cookies every night and drinking five bottles of wine. Oh. <laughs> so we're just sitting on the couch right now and we just finished watching Tangled and we ate dinner and I just looked at him and I go, so what are we, like what are we gonna do for the rest of the night? <laughs> and we have, I have nothing, I've got nothing. I've got nothing. This video is gonna be up after this is over and I don't know when that's gonna be, so I don't know what you guys are doing tonight. Some of you are in relationships. And I think by like day 10, people are gonna start getting sick of each other that are in relationships. Like, no space. It's not like you're in a relationship and you can like leave to get a breath of fresh air. You guys are just with each other. Oh my god, but yeah, true. <laughs> All right, we'll check in in like 30 minutes. Okay, bye. Good morning. Frankie's doing an at-home workout. The apartment is in shambles. It is, in fact, deep cleaning day. And when I say deep cleaning, I mean I'm cleaning. No, I don't know. It's fine. And like my bed, ne I'm gonna take my sheets off. I'm about to clean my bathroom. I'm going to at some point during this safety lockdown clean out my closet So that's gonna happen. It's definitely not happening today um, And this morning me and Frankie which didn't even feel like this morning because it feels like it was a very long time ago We went to Ralph's at 7 a.m. We got in we got out. We have literally everything our house could possibly be Literally anything for a flu, we got cough drops, we got NyQuil, DayQuil, Theraflu, Tylenol flu, Tylenol regular, Vicks Vapor Rub, we got tea, um, we have bread, coffee, spices, I finally found rice, um, I got stuff for chili, we got the seasoning we need, we have enough garlic powder. Our freezer is completely full, even if we wanted to get more stuff, we couldn't until we start eating. We like got all this stuff and we're not even eating it, so. And then our fridge is also full. We have sparkling water, champagne, water, orange juice, milk. He's got Snickers Coffee Mate. Uh, that sounds pretty good actually, I've never had that. We got flour tortillas, we got eggs for days, we got lemons, we got strawberries, we got sparkling water, we got regular water. We have regular water up here and we have more sparkling water in here and we have regular water in here we got like all this back here is water we got pineapple juice we got vinegar we got 72 rolls of toilet paper we got paper towels more water more sparkling water yeah and then we have all our cleaning supplies which some are out because clearly it's cleaning day so excuse my apartment say hi frankie what's up He's working out and yeah, that's it. Oop, he's working out and that's that because I'm cutting that part out because my prayer candles weren't in. I don't want anyone to know my shit. And yes, yeah, so we got our condiments. We got more sparkling water. Condoms. These are all filled. Did you say condoms? <laughs> then we got chips, we got ice cream cones, we got sauce, ketchup, everything we need. And then of course, we have the liquor cabinet which is full. We don't have a problem, we promise. Or maybe we do. Maybe this quarantine is gonna bring out the worst of us or the best of us, I don't know. But that's just, uh, this is day two of the safe, what's it called? Safe, safe, safer at home. Safer at home lockdown. So I'll talk to you guys like whenever I get bored. So hope you guys are being safe out there. In fact, when you guys see this, it, hopefully it will be over, but you just never know, so. Hi guys, it's me and Frankie. Frankie is really sad on the couch back there. Okay, we're still in cleaning and doing laundry. We're taking our time because there's nowhere to go, no one to talk to and nothing to do. But I'm in the kitchen right now. I'm whipping up some dinner for little Tipsy over there, Frankie. We got some asparagus. We're gonna make some plantains, steak, rice, and that's pretty much it. And then we'll probably hit some cookies for dessert. I'm breaking out on my forehead, so I'm probably Same. gonna do a. Yeah, why? Is it our apartment? I don't know, but my. It's forehead. just my forehead. Yeah. I'm probably gonna do a face mask at some point tonight. Um, and yeah, I told you I'd check in, so this is day two. We are going on to day three shortly. It is 5.52 here. Feels like it's 10.52, but 
Wait, is it 552 or is it 652? It's six, okay, it's 652. So that's what's going on here. This is the stay at home owner and my other roommate Matt is out and about. He's not getting it. Um, he doesn't understand the severity, so if he brings any sickness into this apartment, me and Frankie have already agreed that we're going to handle him. And I'm just kidding, we wouldn't even know what to do because we'd all be sick, but how do you tell a roommate that they need to keep their ass at home without being like too invasive on their lives? You can't, so it's like he's just out drinking, doing whatever it is a 23 year old boy does. And I'm like, Matt, you should just be home being bored. It's like having a rebellious Yeah, having like a kid that's being rebellious and you have to be like stressed out about your kid. It's like. <laughs> Guys, it is day four. Matt, what day is it? I don't know, six. No, it's definitely not six. It'll be six. No way. They, they, the quarantine started, what, on Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. So that means Thursday will be seven days, which then makes this day four. Okay, the 19th, the 20th, the 19th, the 20th, the 21st, the 22nd, day four. So I was right, day four. I'm always right. I don't even know why I ask these motherfuckers. Shit for shit. Um, I just took a shower. I'm about to do my makeup. I am having a guest over for the podcast, but I will have hand sanitizer. I'll make them wash their hands. I have disinfectant spray on lock. I haven't left the house, so I know, or I hope I'm good. Hopefully whoever comes over is good. One of my roommates went on like a day date. So much for social distancing. And then Matt is leaving to go to work. And then who knows what else he's gonna be doing because he's wild, so. Matt, what are you doing after you're, after you're done working? No idea. See? He has no, no idea. He what might he might go out. Mm -hmm. He might go to a friend's house. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna come home and chill. Look at him going to work on a Sunday. Say hey Matt. Day four. <laughs> he's so fucking annoying. Okay, anyways, I, I just thought I'd check in because you guys want me to vlog this entire Surprisingly, I'm not that bored yet, but I feel like it's coming, but maybe because I have plans and I've got shit to do today. My nails have literally been on for over a month. I got these done when Gabby came to Cali, which was March. Oh no, it hasn't been a month. She came on March 5th, so almost a month with these nails on. And this is gel on my regular nails. That's crazy. That's the longest gel has ever lasted on my nails. Wow. I'll be back later today let's check in hey guys so i was gonna film a video tonight it's the end of day four of the stay at home uh order in california and i smoke a little bit of weed i'm not gonna lie to you i'm a little you know but i've been in like this weird mood all day where i just feel very blah like I want it, I want to work and I want to focus, but you know when your energy is not like a thousand percent in it, I just didn't want to be that way interacting with y'all. So I am going to wipe off my makeup because I did it for absolutely no reason. And then I'm going to just like take the rest of the night to like get out of whatever funk I'm in because I feel like I was here and now I'm here and I want to be back up here you know what i'm saying i probably look so creepy when i just did that especially since i'm high anyways guys um yeah that's what's going on day four of the quarantine mood is in shambles life seems to be in shambles so tomorrow i'm gonna wake up with a new attitude and a new perspective just today just wasn't that day to put my energy into videos but i apologize for that Day five. It is two o'clock in the afternoon and I'm just about to get my day started. When I say my day started, I mean I'm going to put on some makeup and film some YouTubes, then wipe off my makeup and cook dinner, talk on Instagram live, chat with fans on OnlyFans, 
and then get into bed and then lay there and not watch my TV because for some reason during this quarantine I decided this is an appropriate time to catch up on any of my shows. So that's what I'm going to do. What is that? Oh, just falling apart. <laughs> Hey guys, just an update on this quarantine lifestyle, day five. Frankie is still in the back working out. <laughs> it's like all he does. I have still, I'm still on the wait list for, um, for Raya, but since I'm so bored, I opened my hinge app and I had like, uh, it said 50 plus um, matches. So I've just been going down my matches. And I have zero intentions of ever dating any of these people, but I'm so bored. I'm like, I can have a conversation and people can entertain me. Well, like some of the people that like request me on here, I'm like, I just, I don't, I mean, I, you, it's so horrible because we like literally use these dating apps to judge books by their cover, which is actually quite awful in the grand scheme of things, but. You guys, they have five pictures, and you have to just be like, would this ever happen? And basically off those five pictures. It's kind of fucked up. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not that fucked up. So many Middle Easterns request me, and I'm just like... Um, I've, I've dated Middle Easterns before, and it's just like... It's not going to work. That's horrible, but it's just not going to work. I dated two, and both experiences were like... I'm so confused by this picture. Like, so confused. But, in the grand scale, like, is this your boyfriend? Or, like, if you have multiple pictures with this... Hold on, Gabby's FaceTiming. I get out of breath for doing the slightest thing, and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> well, you said you lost taste in your mouth, right? Yeah, it's like I'm. It's not like I lost complete taste, That's but I symptom. can't taste. That's a symptom. As strong as usual. Yeah, and you can't smell either, right? No, I can smell perfectly fine, but I can't. My taste buds are fucking whacked. Well, Stefan bailed again. He just never texted back this time. At least yesterday he called. Now he just didn't even text back about doing the podcast. So stop, stop doing it. It's a sign from the universe not to fuck with the suit. Don't guys. talk to that dude ever again. No, I won't. I take my podcast very seriously. Like, the least you can do is give me a heads up so I could have found someone else to interview this week. Period. 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 My feet are so dry. I don't know what to do. Should I s soak them in hot water and olive oil and salt? Oh my God, my, my hands are so dry. So dry. I just took a shower and I feel so good. Marcellus, look. He was supposed to go to bed. Look at where he ended up. Did I? No. Aww. Little nugget. Where's Bruno? Let me see Bruno. See, he's, he's downstairs in his spot, knocked the fuck out. He oh. got his biscuit about 40 minutes ago, and he said, say, say less. Say less. All right, let me call you back in a little bit. I'm going to try to edit a video or something. Yeah, it's like one of those vibes. So you wasted putting makeup on again. No, I shot content for my OnlyFans. It's never a waste, sis. Make sure you put, um, film a video tonight. You have makeup on. Yeah, no, I will. I'm going to film, um, I'm going to film, I don't know what I'm going to film. I'm going to film something, though. Okay, I'm going to, um, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. Fuck, these drawers are so... I need, like, new dressers. I need a bigger room. I need a walk-in closet. I'm so over it. You know what I'm over? Yeah. This quarantine. Yeah. Like, I couldn't be more over something. <laughs> it's actually making me self-reflect a lot. I'm like, wow, I kind of suck. What? Not that I kind of suck, but, like, I'm, like, self-reflecting on, like, my past life and how I, like, spent way too much time on fucking dumb shit and that like if the world ended tomorrow I'd be like really Gabby yeah same like you dead ass wasted 17 months of this I realized and there's time nothing you can get, get back. back yeah I was like time will not give you time and I'm out here wasting all the motherfucking time 
So it's just like, yeah, that's how I feel. Day five, quarantini is some whiny, and I'm cooking dinner. I just made chocolate covered strawberries. If you were on my live on Instagram, you saw it go down. They're cooling right now. I'd be fucking pissed if a bitch did that. Like, pissed. Anyways, I'm making my infamous pasta that I always make because it's my go-to meal and I don't really feel like cooking, so. That's what's, that's an update, that's what's going on here, so. Help me, help me. Day, I don't know. I don't know what fucking day it is, honestly. But I'm extremely tired, even though I got a lot of sleep. My apartment still smells like bacon because my roommate made breakfast for dinner and it still smells like bacon in here, which is wild. And you know what's also wild? These bags under my eyes, so I'm gonna go. Bye! Day, I don't even know whatever. Um, I need some supplies at the store and I'm debating walking there because my car has been in the shop. It's supposed to be done in a week and a half. It's been almost three weeks because they're half the staff due to the coronavirus, so I still don't have a car. I live relatively close to the store. The walk there wouldn't be an issue. It's the walk back with the amount of groceries that I need to get where I'm like, hmm, I'm not quite sure I wanna do that. Or maybe I'll walk there and just Uber back. And that's like the biggest debate of the day. <laughs> wow. Um, so not even 10 days. It hasn't even been 10 days. We don't even know. I think it's day nine. Uh, we went to Target. We're about to clean off the patio because I have all my Poshmark clothes out there and I needed bins because they're all literally, like look how trash our patio is right now. We're gonna try to organize this so we can like at least get fresh air on our patio. All this stuff needs to be, it's like listed on my Poshmark. And we're in the middle of cleaning our apartment because Saturdays have become cleaning day. I'm having a quick little snack. Oh, fuck me. Fuck. That's what happens when I get distracted. Anyways, we're having a quick snack. And then we're going to have a mimosa. And get to cleaning. Cleaning day. Cleaning day. Boop, 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 boop. That's as, ex as exciting as our week is going to get. That and brownies later, so. No clue what day it is, but this is currently what's happening. My hair is a mess. My bags under my eyes are crazy, which is weird, because I'm getting definitely enough sleep. Maybe it's stress. Maybe it's not getting enough fresh air. I don't know. I don't know why this isn't focusing either. But, yeah. Day number, I don't even know. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. <laughs> I don't even know how many days it's been. Today's the 31st. We've been on lockdown since the 19th. That's two, so it's been, it's been 12 days. So 12 days of just being home. I can feel the weight gain. Like, I can feel it. <laughs> Today is April 1st. We have 29 days left. If they don't push it back. Damn, my curls are so damaged in the front. Fuck. Um, um, I woke up at like 6 to make sure that my Danny Code, the first episode, was out this morning. Then I went back to bed to like 9.30 and then I was just like very blah for about two hours and now I'm editing YouTube videos and checking off shit off my to-do list and trying not to lose my mind. So I don't know what, this is day number 13? Yeah, day 13. <sighs> I'm sorry all these are getting repetitive. I guess I'm just trying to like record my mental health through this entire 
period of time and today is just like a blah day and I keep telling you I'm doing the same thing every day because there's like nothing else I can do <laughs> so yeah all right update um it is 9 11 p.m i showered in the morning but i'm still in the same clothes i haven't showered twice i've been on my computer all day i just made myself a trader joe's pizza i have a little shot of tequila flash orange juice and i promised myself i would not go to bed until at least half of my to-do list is done so i will check back in and let you know how that went or how it goes whatever i'm trying to say Cheers. Do I do I look like I'm crazy? Do I look do I look like I'm crazy? Do I? Hmm? I just look like a who from Whoville for sure. Not crazy, just like a who. So I'm gonna call it a night. Good night. I just wanted to show you guys <laughs> what uh what my hair looked like when I woke up this morning. It looks like I have a mullet. Like, yeah, sorry. Come to my ranch. We could, like, hang out with some cows. And I don't, that was kind of racist. That was actually terrible because I don't know if people with mullets have farms, but <laughs> this is the first thing I thought of. But what? <laughs> this just makes me laugh. How did, how did my life become this? Who are you? What are you doing? I gotta get my shit together. I just had to show you this. Quarantine day number 299, 500, 700, 800,000. I don't know, but this is quarantine hair. Quarantine hair. Quarantine movie hair. Movie. <laughs> Morning. Not movie. Okay, let's just get a zoom in really quick. I think I'm gonna leave this like this for a couple hours. I might even just leave it like this till my roommate comes home just to see if he says something about my well-being. What do you guys think? <laughs> I can't. Hey, do you wanna like come over tonight? <laughs> oh, I'm losing it. Actually, I did wake up kind of stuffy this morning, and, like with a scratchy throat, but I did smoke like a lot of weed before I went to bed so that could be it but I'm gonna have some day quill in a cough drop and get my day started so bye see ya <gasps> do I have dandruff? A chunk of my hair just came out. Fucking diva curl. I'm fucking pissed. Is that a bald spot? What's happening? Good morning. Well, I already said good morning. I took my hair out of the mullet. I was just thinking as I was picking off my nail gel about how simple things, even little things that you do for yourself, like get your nails done or get a blow dry or go to the beach and lay out for five hours or go to a pool, have a margarita, get your tan on. How like little tiny simple things are so easily taken for granted. So I'm looking at my nails and I'm like, even though I'm in the house, for the next however long months this last. Damn, I would really appreciate having my nails done for thyself. And 
I can't, it's not an option. And it's just before, before any of this happened, getting your nails done and doing all this bullshit, it was just like, yeah, I'm going to get my, my I'm going to get my nails done. Now it's like every time you go get your nails done now, or anytime you get to go to the beach, or anytime you get to, I don't know, see your friends, or grab a drink, or whatever, you're gonna be like, yo, remember that time we couldn't do any of this, and it's just gonna be way more, way more lovely. So yeah, that was just the thought I was having as I'm sitting at my kitchen counter at one o'clock in the afternoon picking off my nail gels. Which actually is taking quite some time and frustrating and I just want them to be off. This is the strongest and longest gel has lasted on my nails. It's been one month since I did these. Just gel on my regular nails. And my real nails are so long but I'm gonna have to cut them all short because I just know they're gonna break with no gel on top of them, so. I guess all I'm trying to say is when this is all over, stop taking shit for granted, okay? I know I will. Hey guys, good morning. I just wanted to give you an update that I look like a serial killer wearing a mask, but I'm really just wearing a mask and clean my apartment because it's Saturday. And I finally picked off all my gel and I wiped off my nail polish on my toes and I tried to give myself an at-home pedicure with olive oil, hot water, and Hawaiian pink sea salt. And they got a little better, I'm not gonna lie. Um, they're not scratching against each other when I go to bed at night anymore, so I'm just gonna have to do that once a week until I can finally get a goddamn pedicure. But today is cleaning day. Yeah, so. It's like some shit from Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but it's really from Pixie Beauty, and it's a vitamin C face mask, and I leave it in the fridge, and it feels so refreshing. So my hair is blow-dried, and yes, I've been crying, not because I'm sad, but I've been watching, been wa binge-watching the Law & Order SVU Marathon, not Marathon, the new season, 21, and it's so good, and the last two episodes had me a little emotional, so I've been crying. <laughs> care about myself on the couch both my roommates are out doing who knows what not staying home and I'm just here and that's it that's all I got that's all I got but oh my god just even if you're like by yourself in the crib and like not seeing a single soul it just feels so good to have a fresh blow dry like, who is she? She's brand new. She's brand new. Are your legs even hairy? Like, are they an inch long? They're so hairy. I haven't picked my legs since LA. Wow. Uh, so, it's only a TikTok. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wait, goodbye. so I'm just saying that not only do are both of us single. Not only are we gonna be in quarantine till God knows when, but now I have Greg leg hair. Gray leg hair. What can you do? I wonder if I have any gray hair. Like in my actual I seen, head. I haven't seen any gray hair in my hair. Well, I hope it turns white, cause then I can get like an all white bob. Yeah, yeah, that's what I would do. Cause dad's beard is coming in white, no? Yeah, so maybe we'll He's have... also 58. Yeah, but if he had hair, his hair would be whiter, whiter gray. Yeah. So I hope our hair turns white. I don't want it to be gray. Or salt and pepper. Salt and pepper's fire, too. Yeah. And then, like, just bob it up. Like, just chop it up. Yeah. Wow. So I just wanted to call and tell you that I have my leg hair. Hi. I'm just going to be here wallowing in self-pity for the rest of the night, so. I'm going to call you in about 10 minutes and switch how to get away with murder together. Well, I'm finishing the Salon Order SVU episodes. This whole season is so good. Can't stop watching it. I stopped after the one with the fucking boxer because I put Marcellus to bed. He just went to bed. Oh, no, I'm two after that. Ugh, bye. Bye. So that's right, folks.
I'm sitting in the cat living room. The sun is beaming on my legs and I was looking down and yep, it's happening. I'm getting old. Started with one gray vagina hair that I plucked. If any of you haven't seen that video, it is still somewhere on this channel. But I haven't seen any gray hair since until today because I have not shaved my legs. I'm just trying to see how hairy they get um, because I haven't really began, I haven't done any lasering on my legs yet, so. My hair is gray, which means my, the, like I'm, I'm get like I'm getting older. My youth, my youth is dwindling right before my, I'm just gonna go think about this for a long while. <sighs> hey, so I didn't go to bed till 3.45 in the morning last night. My sleep schedule has now become officially fucked. Um, and then I woke up at 10. And then I went to the store and then I worked out for an hour and a half. And then me and Frankie cleaned just the living room, but we like deep clean like the washboards because they were filthy. And then I just took a shower and now it's 8 p.m. at night and now I'm gonna edit some videos and relax. Probably again, not going to bed until, who knows. Who? This just in. I haven't showered today and my makeup is so terrible I put sunglasses on and I really was gonna film I was gonna film a video after this and then I decided that that was just not like no I can't I just like even when I go like that I just can't Frankie says it doesn't look that bad but he also was just yawning like it was midnight so I'm like he's obviously tired this is what we're doing. This is our, this is literally our life. We cook dinner, and not only that, I f it's Easter. Oh my God, it's fucking Easter! I haven't even said on my vlog that it's Easter. It's Easter Sunday. I went to go cook dinner and I burnt the chicken. I got hit by a drunk driver. I was told that I probably never have my smile back. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm not even gonna complain about my burnt burnt chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this. Hi. Um, we're almost to the point of wrapping up vlog of month one in quarantine and I gotta be honest I haven't really vlogged myself in the past couple of days because I haven't really done much in the past couple of days except I shaved my legs because they just got to the point where like wow do I really have this much hair after less than a month like they so I'm breaking out I haven't even worn makeup in like seven days and like what is this so I'm gonna have to wear a face mask tonight but yesterday like I sat out on my patio and I tried to get some Sun like literally in a bikini I tried to like just stand exactly where the Sun is to try to get a little bit of color and it lasted about an hour because then it just like goes away and then what else did I do? Um, I did an at-home ab workout, even though I've, you know, I've come to the realization I'm just never, I'm never gonna have abs. Doesn't matter like how many ab crunches I do. I'm just, I might have like a little bit of like ab formation. Like it might look like there could be some abs there, but I don't think I'm ever actually gonna have abs. But I've been doing like abs every day. I haven't done the stairs all week because I just haven't been in the mood. I haven't been in the mood to do anything this week. I've been. I just want my I just want my fucking dog to get here. I want my dog to be here right now. That's all I care about really, so I'm gonna finish my ab workout and then I'm going to take the dishes out of the dishwasher <laughs> and then cook. And then put dishes in the dishwasher and that's gonna wrap up my evening. Thursday turn up. Is it Thursday? Oh, wait, hold on. I just 
just love, I like literally love the sound of birds chirping. I think it's like the most beautiful thing ever. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing, y'all. Besides these two pimples, my skin has been doing, I just tried the vitamin C, um, vitamin C cleanser, balm, under eye brightening cream from Pixie, and I've been using it all week. That's my first time using it, and I love it. It might be why I have these, because it's new, but like, you should feel how soft my skin is. It's just, let me get some sun, let me... Oh my god. <laughs> I haven't straightened my hair all week either. I've been rocking the curlies, the curly curls. Probably straighten it on Saturday. Because I think the puppy is coming on Sunday night. So, anyways, I just wanted to touch base. Always yelling at his kid. You guys hear that? So bizarre to me. I shall touch base at some point. Bye. So, month one in quarantine has come to an end. And so I figured I'd end this video for whoever made it to the end of this video um, by saying what I've learned in the first month of quarantine because we're about to go on to the second month. Um, I want to say that I, I learned that time is fleeting. Um, I remember exactly what I was doing. I was in my room. My hair was curly. It was in a bun. I was in my room and everyone started talking about the stay-at-home order and I ran to the kitchen and I talked to my roommate about it and I was like, oh, it's March 19th, we're going to be in here until April 19th and then all of a sudden it's April 19th and before you even know it, in the blink of an eye, in basically a second, an entire 30 days has just passed us by. Mind you, okay, we're not living our normal lives. We have to wear masks everywhere we go. We have to um, spray everything down, wipe everything down, be cautious of who we're hanging around with, when we're hanging around them, where we're going, who we're going to be there with, if we're going to be around with anyone. There's a lot of people not listening to the stay-at-home order. They're out on boats, they're partying, they're tanning, they're drinking, they're enjoying the fact that they don't have to work a regular job and then other people have lost their jobs and it just kind of makes you as a human being put life into perspective. Like, what were you doing last April versus what are you doing now? But what part of your life is making you better? I feel like people need to use this time to self-reflect and work on themselves. Like, for instance, for me, during this month, I've realized how much time I've wasted worrying about other people. And when I say that, I mean... Like, for instance, it took me almost two years to get over that guy, John. Two fucking years. And I'm just thinking to myself, look how quickly this one month in quarantine went by. But if you slow it down, if you put it in, like, an iPhone, and you put it in slow-mo, even though it went by really fast, there's so much time in that fastness, if that makes any sense. So imagine all the time you've wasted fighting with someone you're not even really friends with or crying over some guy you think you love but you were never in love with worrying and repeating moments of time where you were stressed or mad or angry or sad and if you calculate all those moments that pass by in a month times that by a year by two years, by five years, this is a perfect opportunity for you as a person to be like, I'm not wasting a single moment of my time stressed about shit that I've already wasted my time on. So for me, it's like, okay, yeah, of course I still get emotional, I cry sometimes, I miss people sometimes, that's perfectly human. But it's the dwelling, and it's the self-pity, and it's the, I'm so bored, I can't do this anymore. 
even though we can't be out there right now, you could be here right now with yourself. And that's more important. And I think this is what the world needed and a lot of people aren't really um, focusing on that or taking advantage of that. And I have. I mean, I'm not perfect. I'm never gonna be perfect. I have an attitude for days. Um, I fly off the fucking handle quicker than you could fucking blink your eyes. I am too emotional. I dwell on situations and I realized in this month that those are things I need to work on. Mind you, I've been knowing I need to work on them, but now that I'm here and I'm by myself and I can't see anyone and I'm not talking to anyone and this and this and that, I've realized at the end of the day, I only have me. Now, of course I have my family, but at the end of the day, I only have me. My biggest critic is me. My biggest entertainment is me. Everything comes down to me. So if I'm not right here, I'm not right here, and everything around me is fucked. So I'm gonna spend the next month in quarantine with my puppy, working on me, doing stuff that makes me happy, filming YouTube videos, cooking, baking, learning new recipes, um, writing, I don't know anything, but stressing on little things that should have only taken up a blimp of my time, but that's the thing. Everything is a blimp of time because this whole month, this whole fucking month in quarantine was literally just a blimp in time. Like, we're about to be in May, people. It's mid-April. It's supposed to be May 1st. Rent's about to be due again. I'm about to turn 32 years old. Time is of the essence. So spend it wisely. Okay? I love you guys. To the moon and back. Mwah. Bye.